everybody. This is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the McFarlane Netflix The Witcher Roach. This is the horse that Henry Cavill Witcher predominantly rode on in the show. This was dubbed as a season 2 release. I got this figure from GameStop.com. They had it in stock. They shipped it fast and they didn't mess up my order. I got this thing in less than two days. Thumbs up to shipping fast and thumbs up for GameStop not screwing my order this time. This is one of McFarlane's mega figures. A mega figure is essentially a large oversized figure in the 7 inch scale that won't fit in traditional packaging. They run about $40. So let's go and check out the packaging. As you can see, Netflix, The Witcher Roach, McFarlane Toys, ages 14 plus. This is not a toy. I was thinking it's hilarious when McFarlane puts in the stuff. This is a toy, just a badass toy. And Ryan X is saying it's not a toy. It says McFarlane Toys. Here's the horse in the package. It looks like it comes with a horse, presumably for the Witcher. No other accessories, but it's a really cool looking horse. One side of the package, Netflix, The Witcher. Other side, same thing. The bottom, got a bunch of credits, and there is a barcode, in case that helps anybody. And on the back side, here's The Witcher riding his horse. Looks fantastic. 22 moving parts, McFarlaneToys.com. So no further ado, let's open it up. And I did end up getting two of these horses. Why, you may ask, you don't get a lot of horses in the 112 scale that are affordable. Yeah, this is a little bit larger than 112 scale, but I lump it all together. I can find a ton of uses for this horse in my overall action figure collection. All right, now that we got this figure out of the package, here it is with all the accessories laid out. It does come with a sword and nothing else, but you know what? I don't really care about the sword. It's the horse that I was going after. And do you really call this an action figure? I mean, it's not a vehicle, not really a figure. It is an animal, and it does move, so I guess it's an action figure of sorts. So let's take a look at it. Starting with the head here, looks very nice. I'd say the sculpting upon first glance looks better than the Dark Knight Returns horse. Completely black, it's this black hair draped out of one side. Sculpt on the hair looks pretty nice. It's got this harness around the face. Sort of rubbery, movable. The strap here. It's got the saddle. Little areas to put your foot into. It's got some baggage. Tail with articulation. Looks like two points, hinge and ball joint. Legs all seem to have traditional forward and back joints. No outward joints. Same articulation scheme as the Dark Knight Returns horse. Looks like we have a sheath for the sword. That's pretty cool. Overall, pretty much exactly what I expected. I am pleased. And just a closer look at the head or face scope on the horse. I think it looks pretty freaking good. What do you guys think? It's an excellent generic horse. Can be used for so many different things. I'm thinking Batman. I'm thinking Witcher. I'm thinking Lord of the Rings. I'm thinking Jonah Hex. I'm thinking Zorro. I'm thinking the Phantom. I'm thinking of a ton of possibilities to use this horse in my action figure world. And a closer look at the saddle. The sculpting job is very nice. You can see the texturing on this brown part below. Different texturing on the actual black saddle. It looks very sharp. And I will describe the sculpt of the horse is rather basic. You can see a little bit of muscle here. But a lot of the horse is just simply plain kind of dull and boring looking but it completely meets my expectations and here are both of the horses out of the package with their swords laid between them now let's look at his accessory he simply comes with a sword don't have too much to say about this thing the blade looks fine silver very gummy and bendable i'm not super fond of that there is some sculpting detail here as well as on the handle of course i welcome any sword into my collection but I'm not really impressed with this thing. Here's a sword into the sheath on the side of the saddle. And you know what? It actually has two sheaths on the saddle, one on either side, but yet only comes with one sword. And of course, since I got two horses, I have two swords. Here they are into both the sheaths. Maybe the extra sheath is intended to hold the Witcher sword that came with the figure. That's on that side. And this side has the sword with the horse. Here's the Henry Cavill Netflix Witcher figure holding the sword. 
Now that I've taken a pretty good look at both the horse and his accessories, now let's check out the measurements from bottom to the top at the tallest point, sitting at about eight and a half inches tall. And as far as how long it is from front to back, about ten and a half inches long. Now let's look at its articulation. Very similar to the Dark Knight Returns horse. Got a ball joint in its neck here. Gonna rotate its head a little bit from side to side. Can't really go up and down too much. Very limited, honestly, with that ball joint. Traditional sort of joint in the neck. It's down about that far, up about that far. His legs, they can go forward and back at the top. Mine's pretty tight. And then his knees go forward and back. Then he has a ball joint at his ankle, forward, back, can rotate. Same thing, other leg, back leg, the top, big old joint here, forward and back. Then his knee, in, out. Then he has another ball joint in his ankle, forward, back, rotation. Then we have his tail, of course, you're going to rotate around, and it's going to be hinged as well. That's really about it. And you know what? You really don't need more. This horse can achieve all the poses you want, standing there, sort of galloping, even standing up on his hind legs. The horse is able to stand up normally like so. You can try to simulate it walking with its head forward and its knees bent a little bit. And yes, you can have the horse sort of out of control on its hind legs. You can use the tail to help support and balance it. Now I'd like to see some various action figures on this horse, starting off with the figures intended for it, the Witcher figures. Here's the Henry Cavill version of the Witcher from Netflix, riding on Roach. He's able to grip the harness just fine. He's got his cloak on. Overall, looks very, very good. Here's the Witcher, riding his horse Roach through the graveyard with the moonlight sky. Here's the video game version of Geralt on the horse, in case you're wondering how that works as well. And it works just fine. Here's McFarlane's Dark Knight Returns Batman on the horse. Fits pretty good. Not quite as good as the horse he's intended for. Here's a McFarlane, Princess Bride, Dread Pirates Roberts. He's got the cloak from the Netflix Witcher and a hat from a Diamond Select Toys Westworld figure. Makes for a good makeshift Zorro. And it fits fantastic on this horse. Here's a Diamond Select Toys Westworld Teddy Flood figure on this. More or less a cowboy riding a horse. Now his legs don't spread out quite as much as you need him to ride this horse properly, but it looks pretty good from the side. Here's Neko's Phantom on this horse. Works really well. Very appropriate for that character. And finally, here's a Mattel DC Universe Classics Jonah Hex on this thing. Now his leg articulation doesn't really allow him to sit in there properly, but it's fudgeable and it looks halfway decent. All those legs are just straight, like he's standing up. Now let's look this horse out. Next is some other Witcher figures. Here's the entire collection of Netflix Witcher figures so far. We have Roach, the Witcher, Jasper, and the Kukumora. Now I haven't seen anywhere that's offering Series 2 of the Witcher figures in stock yet. That includes two versions of the Witcher and Siri. Definitely get them. Here's Roach with my entire collection of McFarlane video game Witcher figures. Here are all the McFarlane Witcher mecha figures they've made. The Ice Giant, Roach, and the Kikamora. Here's my entire collection of McFarlane Witcher figures, both from Netflix and the video game. I believe I have every single variation they've made so far, and I'm looking forward to getting the rest. Now let's check this horse Roach out next to some other horses from my action figure collection. Here are both of the Witcher Roach horses that I got. Gonna be fine additions to my action figure world. Then, next to McFarlane's Batman the Dark Knight Returns, collect to build a horse. The horse is a little bit bigger from the Dark Knight Returns, and the Witcher horse doesn't seem to share a single part with the Dark Knight Returns horse. Not the body, not the head, not the tail, not even the hooves. Nice job for a brand new sculpt, McFarlane. And just like I got two roaches, I also got two of the Dark Knight Returns collect to build a horse. Gonna have plenty of horse options moving forward. And here's Roach, next to an older NECA, Sleepy Hollow, Headless Horseman horse. Then, next to a Toy Biz, 
Lord of the Rings, Nazgul horse. Then, next to another Toy Biz Lord of the Rings horse, this is Gandalf horse, Shadow Fox. And next to yet another Toy Biz Lord of the Rings horse, this is Aragorn's horse, Brago. And finally, next to an older Kenner, Legends of Batman, Dark Rider Batman horse. Here are all the black horses I have in my collection, from largest size to smallest. McFarlane, Dark Knight Returns, McFarlane Witcher, Toy Biz Lord of the Rings, NECA, Sleepy Hollow, and Kenner, Legends of Batman. Now that you've seen how many horses I have, here's an example of what you can do with a bunch of them. Here's a scene reenacting from the Batman The Dark Knight Returns. Batman, Robin, leading an army of the sons of Batman to save Gotham City. Some on horseback, some on foot. And here's a little bit more of an aerial view of the same thing. Now let's check this horse out next to some action figures from different various companies to see how it fits in both scale and style wise in case you want to know which lines you can use with it. We'll start off with some McFarland toys. Here are four different lines from McFarland toys, all seven inch scale in front of the roach. Here's the McFarland Witcher figure on this horse. Of course, he fits on it just fine. The horse was specifically intended for this figure. Most McFarland toys that are seven inch scale will fit on this horse just fine, but it depends on their articulation. The Walking Dead figure in the previous shot, his legs do not spread apart so he would not fit. And now, with some Jack specific wrestling figures, these guys don't have a shot of hell and get on the horse, as your legs simply do not work that way. They have the old T crotch style hips. And here it is, with some DST or Diamond Select toys. And here's the Diamond Select John Wick on this horse. You know, not a bad fit. Then, some DC Direct and DC Collectibles by the horse. Here's the DC Collectibles DC Essentials Rebirth Batman on the horse. Also a pretty nice fit. And here's the horse, with some NECA figures. Here's NECA's Comic Batman on the horse. Also a good fit. Then, here's this horse, with some Mattel wrestling figures. Here's the Mattel wrestler Elias on the horse. They're still scaling up okay. He's an elite figure, his legs will fit on there properly, but the basic figures won't. And now, here's the horse with some Jazzwares AEW wrestling figures. Here's a Jazzwares wrestler on the horse, still scaling up good. And here's the horse with some Mezco 112 collective figures. Here's the Mezco Batman on the horse. Now it depends on how picky you are, but I think it's still passable. Then, with some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures by the horse. Here's this Batman on there. As you can see, his feet definitely don't hit as far down as they're supposed to. His cape also kind of pushes him forward, but it still works more or less. And here's the horse with some Mafex figures. Here's the Mafex Hush Batman on the horse. We're getting to the point where the figures are too small to scale up with the horse properly, but if you're not picky, it still works. Then, some Hasbro Marvel Legends in front of the horse. Here's the Marvel Legends Wolverine on the horse. Yeah, not too bad. And here are some SH Figure Arts action figures next to the horse. Here's the SH Figure Arts Justice League Batman on the horse. While he fits on there, it's far too small. And finally, here are some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures in front of the horse. And here's the Fortnite figure on the horse. Definitely looks too small, but he does fit. Wouldn't be surprised if they eventually put horses in the game. Overall, it's a very nice horse. I'd say I perhaps even like it more than the Batman and the Dark Knight Returns horse. Only thing that kind of bothers me is the fact that this mane is pushed onto one side. Not a big deal. The sculpting is a little bit better than the Dark Knight Returns horse. Articulation is pretty much the same. This guy is a little bit smaller, so I think it scales up with more figures properly, and that's definitely a plus. If I were to rate this horse, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Very nice. Very well done. Only complaint with the articulation. Well, his legs, they could definitely use a little more mobility. And the ball joint on his head doesn't get very much out of that. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.